so we're going to be covering the PR4000 folding rack mount. You can see we have this stringer that we uh, pre-put up there just with some lag bolts um, finding each stud um, and the brackets we've mounted on with lag bolts. Now you could use concrete. Um, I'll show you all the options we have here but this is the bracket. Um, so you could mount this into concrete. We give you both mounting options, um, which we'll go over here. So these are going to be the bolts that go through the bracket to keep the cross members on, while those are the ones to keep the uprights on. So you want the fully threaded ones um, to go into the brackets. These are our wedge anchors. If you're going into concrete, our lag anchors for us, like we went into wood. Um, and then the locking bolts, we always include those for you guys with some washers so those bolts aren't backing out on you. Um, and those are the washers for the lag nuts if you're using them like we did. Um, you're just going to need a couple pieces of hardware. Uh, I'm trying to show you here but this is a 15 16 socket wrench um, and then just an adjustable wrench to go on the other side there. Alright, um, with that. Um, me and my buddy Adam here, he's my helper, are going to go over how to install this rack. So there's a couple more things that came with it that he points out I need to show you. The J-cups come with it, okay, and then the pins to keep the rack in place after you fold it come with it as well. That's a cotter pin um, just to keep it in place. So here we go. We kind of fast forward through this install a little bit. Um, so I first take those threaded all the way through bolts to put the cross members on. So that's the fully threaded bolts. We're just going through and hand tightening it right now. Um, that gives us some play when we go to put the cross members on. So you'll want to keep those hand tightened until the uprights are ready. Um, this one had a little bit trouble going through, but it was fully threaded. So I was able to get a socket set and get that one through. Um, now Adam, with the little play that we have, is able to put the cross arm up. You'll see we want washers on both sides there. That's going to keep your rack nice and sturdy over time. Okay, so he helps me. You saw that play. Um, get that cross member on. Again, hand tightening. Okay, hand tightening until we get everything. You'll notice the rack is a little wobbly, but that's okay. Um, because if we over tighten, then things might get crooked. Okay, that's just a huge key in setting up any kind of power rack. Again, make sure that washer goes um, and then that the lock side is facing out. The blue should be facing out on that nut. Uh, setting up the second cross member. Okay, you'll notice here we went with the 41.5 inch depth. This rack's going to be able to fold against the wall. Um, which is it's nice because you get all this depth for full kips. Now I'm going through um, and I'm starting to uh, put Adam to work of course as well. So he's uh, gonna get uh, that pull up bar while I start to uh, go through with hardware or I guess not necessarily hardware but my socket set um, to tighten everything up. Adam will get that pull up bar on. Here I am finishing. You guys can get it tight. Um, I kind of go like a tire, so I'll go from top to bottom. I go to bottom there, um, then back to bottom. Just make sure everything is tight. And then the pins go in um, to keep this rack nice and secure against that's the cotter pin. And as you can see, uh, it's able to handle any kind of hanging gymnastics with that depth. Um, even if you're a big person, Adam's 6'4", 205, and he's able to use this rack no problem. Pretty solid setup we got. This is one of our favorite racks. Again, this is the PR4000 folding rack. Um, and it's going to do everything you guys want for it. Thanks, guys. Email us if you have any questions. Um, we're always happy to help. Info at repfitness.com.